welcome to the Tiny House Ideas Podcast. Water is a water hose. You know, the, the biggest issue that folks have um, is septic. You know, what do you do with the with the toilet water? Yeah, with the waste. Yeah, and there's there is just a variety of toilets in the market. I I I, I am a toilet aficionado. I think <laughs> you know I know more about toilets and and, and uh, various um, waste disposal methods than I ever thought that I would. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. So obviously, you've got sort of, I mean, so many people are sort of deterred and put off by by the sort of traditional composting toilet. And that's why they're sort of looking at the incinerating ones and right. and, and all sorts of different ways. So I can imagine that, um, I guess it, it ties in with you guys that, that the sort of customers you're, you're speaking to aren't really the ones that are sort of interested in, in composting toilets, I guess. You know, I, I tell you what, it's, it's, you know, people want to solve that issue and don't want to have to hook up to city septic or want yeah. the ability, no matter where they go, to not have to deal with that component. And so the best way to do that is with a composting toilet yeah. uh, because it doesn't require uh, like an incinerating toilet with you know, electricity in order to, you know, to, 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 to burn your poo. You know? So there's, you know, there's that yuck factor. Yeah. Oh, we got to take it out of there. <laughs> How you do? You know, but it's interesting yeah, in, in it is. that the toilets, I mean, the composting toilets are, are by and far the most common um, yeah. in, rather than a flush toilet. But, but I'll tell you what, you know, most of the tiny houses we build are residential flush toilets. Okay. That, that's, that's interesting, actually. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought that. So it's interesting to, into, interesting to hear that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the primary. And then, and then second to that would be the composting toilets. And then you have a dry flush toilet that kind of shrink wraps your waist. Yeah, puts it into a bag. Oh, yeah, like, you know, big string of sausages. Um, <laughs> and, then, and then, and then, and then you have the incinerator toilet. But the incinerator toilet brings up a whole other issue in that. <clears throat> excuse me. In that, with the incinerator toilet, <clears throat> we have a limitation in terms of how much electricity can go into the tiny house. We're limited in the states yeah. by 50 amps, uh, 220 okay. volts. Um, so you gotta do an incinerating toilet that uses just a little bit of electricity. So the downside of that, it takes a long time to burn your waste up. Yeah. Um, so that, anyway, that's, there's, there's, you gotta kind of figure out what your need is and what you need to do. You know, and yeah. a lot of times we'll install a flush toilet with, um, the idea at some point down the road that that homeowner can take that flush toilet out and, and plop up. I shouldn't say plop, should I? But a, <laughs> a, 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 a a composting toilet in its place. And that's yeah. what we do a lot. So we okay. just kind of give the ability, you know, once again, flexibility, you know, for, for the homeowner to, to, to change it in the future. So okay. once again, thinking it through, what's going to make sense for you right now? Thanks for watching this little teaser for the Tiny House Ideas podcast. If you'd like to listen to the full episode, it's available on all major streaming platforms, so that's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all of the others. Alternatively, if you'd rather watch it sort of in, in a video format like this video has been, then that's available on Patreon. Just search for Tiny House Ideas. Um, so thanks again for watching. Please do check out the full episode. And thanks again.